All right, hey everybody. I'm hoping that you're all doing great. A very interesting question boom raha hai market mein which is co-prime. Now co-prime ke basics ke baare mein to sabko pata hai. But aaj mein ek interesting aspect discuss karne wala hoon. Which is product of two co-primes. How can I express a number as product of two co-primes? It's a very interesting aspect. Let's say, mein paas koi bhi number hai. Let's say 12 hai. How can I express it as product of two co-primes? Or it can be any number. Let's understand this and let's generalize this so that we can convert it into a formula. Okay. Um, so let's understand. So 12 is the number I want to express as product of two co-primes. What I have to do is think about it. Let me help you understand the concept. 12 can be written as 2 square into 3 to the power 1. If I have to write it as product of two numbers which are co-prime, in that case, in no situation can I have some power of the same prime number on both sides. I cannot have 2 to the power A here and 2 to the power B here. You know, where both A and B are not equal to 0. Then the numbers will never be co-prime because the HCF will not be 1. Imagine the scenario like this. I take 2 to the power 1 here and I take 2 to the power 1 here into 3. Will these numbers ever be co-prime? The answer is no. Which basically means that if I have to take, let's say if I have to take here 2, I'll have to take the entire power of 2. So 2 to the power 2 into 3. To, yeah, we'll take 3 to the power 1. That is the scenario when it will become co-prime. Now think about it. In how many ways can I make it? So first situation I have, so effectively, effectively, it does not matter what is the power here. Only the prime numbers involved are important. So which is two and three. So what I can do is, let's say select one number. The rest, the other number will be automatically selected or left out. So if I select, let's say none of the two, then I get a one here and I get two into three here. If I select one out of these two numbers, let's say I select two, then the other number is three. If I select three, then the other number is two. If I select both, then the other number remaining is one. Now think about it. The first case and the last case are just the same because the two numbers are same. The second case and third case are the same. Right? So, if you, if you come to think of it, okay, in how many ways can I select out of the two numbers In how many ways can I select? So one way is to select neither. So 2C0. The other way is to select one. So 2C1. The final way is to select two. But these cases are repeating in a pair. So first case and last case is the same. Second case and third case is the same. Therefore, I'll have to divide it by two. Now 2C0 plus 2C1 plus 2C2, NC0 plus NC1 plus NC2 dot 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 NCN is 2 to the power N. So this becomes 2 to the power N divided by 2, which is 2 to the power N minus 1. You can use this formula to find out the number of ways in which you can express any number as product of two co-primes. Let me help you apply this in another example. Let's take a rather you know, bigger example. Let's say. Let's say that the number is 30. So let's say the number is 30. Now I am looking at 2 into 3 into 5. Right. Now I can either select none of the 3. So then it will become the case will be 1 into 2 into. The first number will be 1. The second number will be 2 into 3 into 5. I can select 1. So that will become 2, 3 into 5. I can select 1. So 2, I can select 3, 2 into 5. I can select 5, 2 into 3. And again, I will select two numbers. So then these numbers will start coming. 3 into 5, then I'll have 2. 2 into 5, then I'll have 3. 2 into 3, then I'll have 5. And then finally, when I will select, you know, out of the 3, I'll select all 3. So then 2 into 3 into 5. And this is 1. Now, if you come to think of it, how many cases do I get? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. 
first case and eighth case are first and eighth is the same case. Case number two and case number five is same. Case number three and case number six is same. Case number four and case number seven is same. So effectively, it basically becomes half. So now, first I had selected zero out of these three prime numbers. So 3C0 plus 3C1 plus 3C2 plus 3C3 divided by 2. This becomes 2 to the power 3 divided by 2, which becomes 2 to the power 3 minus 1. So that becomes 2 square, which is equal to 4. So in four ways, I can express this number as product of two co-prime numbers. I'm hoping that this is clear to you. If this question is clear, can you all tell me what will be the number of ways in which you can express 450 as product of two co-primes? Thank you so much. See you in the next one.